I wonder why you were carrying around a bad piece of white belt. North Carolina two weeks ago. Okay. Speeding. Oh, we're speeding. Arrest that person. All right, Kathleen, first of all, reaction for this comment here. Someone should give this brainy beauty something more than a finger to chew on. <laughs> I loved it. I love that comment. What does that mean? Well, it means in The Man with Two Brains, you know, one of the most outrageous things Dolores, the character, did was to give Steve Martin a finger to suck on to keep him happy. So uh, I think he meant that, you know, we should move on from there. Well, on this one it says, uh, it called for nearly total suppression of her natural sultriness. Oh, well, we don't agree with that, personally speaking, in the editorial sense. In Romancing the Stone, Joan Wilder, the character, is, um, is quite quiet and, and a little unsure of herself in some areas, but I think everybody's that way. I mean, I know I am too sometimes, so I don't think it's a question of suppressing my natural sultriness so much as just not acting it. Uh, this is, I'm trying to figure out how to word this question, but I was going to say you're a different looking woman in that every time I've seen you now, whether it's a still photography, mm. if it's on the screen in a different scene, or what, you look almost totally different each mm. time. Is uh, that just something that happens with how you're photographed or how you are, or are you that many different people? I'm not sure. I think that it's a question Have you noticed of, that, first of all? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Um, and I notice it, too, in the sense that I, I, I'm really recognized or anything like that, which I kind of like. But it's, I, think it's a, it's, I think it has a lot to do with how you project yourself or how you feel about yourself, and that changes. Uh, how did you feel when you first saw yourself on the big screen up there, 12 feet high? Ooh, first time? I thrilled, actually, just thrilled. I, I, I had never thought before that I cared about sort of having a record, do you know? Because I thought all I cared about was just acting and stage and everything. Mm -hmm. And I realized that there was going to be a piece of film and an image that was going to not change. Even, you know, when I looked at it next year, the next year would still be there. And I, I got very excited. Uh, several female actress Cher, I think, lately was commenting that she felt uncomfortable having no makeup on the screen. Mm -hmm. uh, you look like you're in disrepair in several scenes of the Oh, I wasn't wearing any film. makeup, yeah. Okay. Well, um, that was a question of the character, mm -hmm. you know, felt it was right for the character. And Michael Douglas as, as producer as well as actor, and Bob Zemeckis, the director, certainly encouraged that, you know, for the character, and they were right. Do you play the part of a romantic novelist? Are you a romantic, first of all? Yeah, in a lot of ways I am. I like to believe that uh, things are all for the best. Do you have a fantasy hero out there mm. in real life? Oh, gosh, everybody does. Uh, well, I have a fantasy hero in the film. I mean, Michael Douglas fits the bill very well. Uh, Danny, you know, he's, well, he's cute. But I think that uh, in real life, no, no, I have some, some wonderful people, but I don't want them to be fantasies. I want them to be real. Are you anything like any of the women you play in the film, the adventurer or the, uh, the bookworm? Yeah, I think I'm a bit like the bookworm. Have a cat? Have a cat. Have I an apartment. Cats. Looks just about like that. You hate cats? I hate cats. Remember that. Throw them with the wall with Velcro, I used to say. That's another thing. Uh, what made you want a career in show business? <laughs> well. Maybe an edit there, by the well. way. Okay, anyway. Okay. You can see these edits in this interview, can't you? Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> what may, oh, because of the work, essentially. I mean, I think that it's the only job I know where you get to... You get to live all these different lives all the time. And I think that's great. I think it's exciting. And they pay you to do it. Well, you were a suitcase child. You <laughs> in were, a you know, sense, you were, yeah. You were staying in a suitcase a lot growing up. It makes me think, I'm sorry, it makes me think of where, you know, Charlie's aunt, born in a... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> anyway, uh, did that really have any effect to the positive or the negative to uh, what you're like now? I think so. I mean, looking back, uh, I think that, that what it gave me a an ability to adapt, perhaps, and more of a social ease, because you'd go into a new country or, or just a new school or something, and you'd have to find your feet really fast. So I think that um, it was some good training. Huh? Um, this was quite a physical role, and <laughs> some of the things that are done, now, I'm sure there were stunt people doing a lot of these things, but... Not uh, all of them. Not a lot. Did you get hurt ever? Or even bruised yeah, up? Yeah, we all got a little hurt. Um, I mean, I had a couple stitches or something like that, but uh, everything heals. Did you did you ever wake up scared the next day? You know, wake, during the night, saying, "Oh my God, I got to uh, slide 50 feet down a hill today," or 
something no, like that? No, because, you know, Michael is a fabulous producer, and he would never allow anything that was an unacceptable risk. He, you know, okay. every, every precaution that could be taken always was. If you were interviewing you, what would you ask? Um, what would I ask? I'd ask, you know, the, the thing that interests me about me, oh, this sounds awful, is uh, how many people could you be? How many different women could you be? And I mean, I think, I think that that's a, well, I think it's a test of time, but uh, that's one of my ambitions, to find that out. To see how many women you can be. Mm-hmm. You're a strange person to live with, and you don't know who you wake up with in the morning. Well, nobody does, so it's okay. What are you going to do next now? This is going to be a big hit. You're going to make a, you're going to get more offers than you can stand. What are you going to, oh, what are you looking problem. for when all these scripts come in? Oh, well, roles that I haven't uh, touched on before, roles that, and the people to work with. I mean, I, the most exciting thing now is to have access to some of the best directors and uh, some of the best material that, uh, that's being done. So I think that that's, uh, that's what I'm looking for. How, is, uh, how, how have your family members, either, I guess there are, where are your roots, Missouri, is that right? Well, my mom lives in Missouri, yeah, and my grandparents. How so they that's sort of the to family all these base. things, Body Heat, and uh, have they seen this film? Yeah, my mom saw it uh, the other night, it came down. Um, she loves this one, she loves this film, she really does. She got quite upset when the, when the villain tried to kill me, but um, she thinks my work is good, and I think she's proud of me. It's interesting. Well, thank you a lot. I'm sure you're going to do thank very well. Thank you, Jimmy. Well, this movie's going to make so much money for, for <laughs> somebody, and uh, you will do great in it because that's you know because you're up there on the screen, almost 100 percent of the time. Yeah. So that's uh, great. Nice. I did enjoy it. It's a fun movie. I'm glad. Mm -hmm. I need to get a listening shot here. You want me to reverse yeah, with her or switch back around? Again. Okay. Okay. Do you have points in this one? <laughs> 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 if you edit them in right, they do look okay. We have speed? More iris. We need more iris. Oh, I need more iris, too. Yeah. Can you get her over here? I'll take a couple. Manual iris. <laughs>